Hi everybody and welcome to DokuSnap. My name is Linda and today we'd like to show you how to install DokuSnap. For this I've invited my colleague Hans. Hello Linda. What do I need to install DokuSnap? Not very much. You need a more or less current operating system like Windows 7 or Windows Server 2008 R2 or better, our installation file and the activation key. And that's it. Could you please show us how to install DokuSnap? Sure. We have already the installation file on the desktop, so let's extract the installation file and we also run a validation there. Okay, the setup starts. I click on Next. I accept the license agreement, of course. We are good to go with the default installation path. And here I have two options. I can choose the Microsoft SQL Server or the local DB. And in our case, we, we will use the Microsoft SQL Server. Okay, and what about the local DB option? Well, that's of course also a valid option. Uh, it is quite easy to use it because everything which is needed to run a local DB uh, comes with the installation of DocuSnap. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you use the DocuSnap with the local DB, you have to deal with some disadvantage, disadvantages like uh, you can't use DocuSnap server for instance. Okay. So I guess SQL server is okay. Mm -hmm. Next and install and here we go. Okay, the installation of DocuSnap is complete. What are the next steps after the basic installation? Okay, we have here our DocuSnap now on the desktop. Let's click on it and the first start and the product activation. That means I have here to enter the product key. It's in my clipboard and I click on activate and because of my internet connection I have quite easy activated my copy of DocuSnap. Okay, and when there is no internet connection during the installation? In this case you can uh, use the option offline activation. That means you can create a, an activation request on the system and send, us, send this file to our web server and there you get um, a, a file which allows you to activate DocuSnap without internet on this system. Okay, that's great. Yeah. I choose the DocuSnap server and the DocuSnap web option, which is of course only possible because we have used the SQL server mm -hmm. selection before. So click on next. The next step is the database configuration. That means DocuSnap needs a database and for that I enter the SQL Server and the name of the database that we want, in this case DocuSnap, and I select the SQL Server authentication. That means by using the standard administrator SA, I'm pretty sure that any permissions which are required to create a database are there. Mm -hmm. So. Let's click on create and DocuSnap should now start to create the database and after around about two minutes we can proceed further. Okay, the database is ready to use. Let's click on Next. 
here I have my configuration of paths that DocuSnap requires and in this case I'm, I'm good with the default path settings so let's proceed. Yeah, encryption file this is also an option in DocuSnap. Why do I need an encryption? Well, let's say you want to store passwords in DocuSnap, that means the information is in the database and you have, of course, protect the data and this encryption file uh, encrypts the data in the database so everything should be quite safe then. So let's create a file, I just call it key, click on save and we've got our encryption file. Mm -hmm. And the next step is the configuration of DocuSnip Server. What is DocuSnip Server? Well, DocuSnip Server is a very mighty tool within DocuSnap. One example is the automatic inventory of your systems. At a specific point of time, you get the server information right into DocuSnap. Mm -hmm. And another one would be, let's say you have licenses that expire in two months, DocuSnap can send you a notifying one month before oh, to okay. save you trouble. The next step is to configure the DocuSnap server. Um, let's start with the user settings. I keep the settings here in the default. Mm -hmm. And by clicking on next, I get to the database settings, which are already perfect. And here I can modify the paths in DocuSnap. We keep it on default. And that's it. Let's click on Next. And DocuSnap installs now the server component and also the DocuSnap web components and at the end, which might take a few minutes, is DocuSnap ready and installed. Awesome. Done. The web component has opened the browser and I could here start to working with DocuSnap web. I have here my initial scan wizard, DocuSnap seems to be okay, so that was the installation, I guess. Perfect, so thank you, Hans. I didn't think that it's that easy to install DocuSnap. I hope that you all have seen that it's really simple to install it, and thank you for watching, see you next time. Have a nice day, bye.